Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is your favorite dark sorcerer here. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about something that seems to be an upper, I guess you could say, is a comprehensive thing that has been going around YouTube. But also Facebook. And I did a video on this, and I think it's important to point out the difference. Number one. If you're going to follow somebody, make sure that they're actually a real deal, okay? That they have an altar, they back up what they preach, and they always make themselves available to the public. There's a lot of scam artists and there's a lot of fakes out there. It's very important to know this. You see, you got people who are claiming to be things. I mean, for an example, let's take John... Uh, Ramirez, okay? Now, in the video, the dangers of Santeria and the occult video, he claims to have grown up in a home where his mother was associated with Santeria, okay? And his father was a warlock dedicated to the spirits, okay? And before long, he got into Santeria before getting into Pedro Mayumbi. And then after that, he ended up becoming a Christian, okay, where he met his wife. So, in his other videos, he changed that from serving the Orisha to becoming an ex-Satan, uh, Satanist, and, and uh, how should I say this? Becoming an ex-devil worshiper. Okay. You see, it's, it's important to understand that people like this exist. Because he was more important. The waterworks, you know, the crying, the tears, the emotional breakdowns. This didn't occur until he created his book. Then he became associated with devil worship. Okay. Now, a real practitioner who has been in the African Caribbean traditions such as Pelo Mayambi, Santeria, and Santa Morte, for an example, just to name a couple, would know the difference between a demon, a jinn, and most importantly, that of spirits of the African-Caribbean Congo regions of Africa that have gone throughout the, the, the southern hemisphere. Okay? These traditions were brought over by the slaves. Okay? Through the slave trade. This is well documented. See, a Braille practitioner would know this. And John Ramirez clearly doesn't know this. Because he actually did an interview where he's standing inside, outside of a metaphysical shop. Pointing to a statue of Santa Morte. Which is right next to that of a statue of... Guess who? Mary, the mother of Jesu Christi. Okay. And he calls them devils. You're putting Christians to idols right next to devils. Okay. Not Santa Morte, but a devil. This is what I'm talking about. Look out for cons. Because they're everywhere. Okay? They are everywhere. These people change their stories in just about every video. You take John Ramirez for an example. Supposedly, he was 9 when he got into the occult. Then he became 10, 13, and then back to 9. You watch his entire videos and you'll understand this. Christians are even attacking him. Christians, his own people, calling him out on his shit. And yet, Christians who like the guy are sitting there going, well, you got a bad depiction of him. I would argue the point, but I'm too busy serving Jesus Christi. Yeah. So busy, and you're not serving on your knees, you're unwilling to seek truth. 
you see my point. And then you got ex Satanists trying to reveal Christian satanic symbols. Well, guess what? Most of these satanic symbols that we've known today go back go as far back as ancient Egypt, Greek, and European traditions of alchemy. Things that were associated with the stars, things that were associated with planets from the ancient people's perspective. And yet, a so-called ex-Satanist high priest doesn't go into the full detail of where this stuff originated. Oh, this was done for a Satanic Black Mass, or this was done for a Satanic Ritual of Annotation. You see, this is con stuff. Anybody can draw a symbol. But to back up what you preach, to make yourself available to the public, this is what separates real practitioners from the fakes. Okay? I want you to understand this. Because anybody can con you. Anybody can state that they were an ex-something or that they are a current something. But it is up to you as the individual to do your own homework. We do live in the age of enlightenment. And guess what? The knowledge you seek is just a key stroke away. Look it up. It's Google. Hello. Just saying. Do it for yourself. Have a good day.